All right, I'm going to tell you about two cases in Texas that show you how absolutely pathetic the justice system there is. A brother, a black man, has been sentenced to 70 years in prison for spitting at police officers while he was being arrested. Larry Pearson was arrested in May of last year for domestic violence after a female victim flagged down an officer in Northeast Lubbock and stated that Pearson punched her in the face several times. Now, according to police, Pearson was arrested and continued to kick and spit at the officers even after being detained at the Lubbock County Detention Center. Now, Pearson was convicted on two counts of harassing a public servant. Due to his prior convictions of aggravated robbery and continuous family violence, the minimum sentence he could receive would have been 25 years. But the prosecutor asked the jury to consider a sentence that would, quote, send a message to Pearson and society. His defense lawyer, Jim Shaw, argued to the jury that the harassment of a public servant was a single misdemeanor that got out of control. Okay? So that's that particular case. So now let's talk about this other case. Okay, out of Texas as well. All right, white man on trial, he goes on trial for killing a Black Lives Matter protester. Daniel, Daniel Perry, former, former Army Sergeant, Uber driver, was convicted of killing Garrett Foster, a white Black Lives Matter protester. Now, jury goes to the jury, jury finds him guilty. Now, newly released unsealed documents that were not allowed in the trial show Perry, who's convicted of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, talking about his intentions of actually harming protesters. He said on social media he was going to kill protesters and Muslims, expressed white supremacist views, said point blank, I'm a racist. Now, in reaction to the documents being released, Perry's legal team filed a motion seeking a new trial. Now, here's what's interesting. So, the folks on the right took this as a cause celeb. Tucker Carlson goes on Fox News and demands that Texas Governor Greg Abbott pardon him. Now, the governor of Texas doesn't have the pardon the power. He can recommend to the pardon and parole's board. Well, Greg Abbott sent this tweet out. Show it, y'all, where he actually said, I'm seeking the pardon. We have a tweet? No. All right, we'll pull up and say, where he literally said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pardon this guy. He, he said that Texas has a strong stand your ground law. That's what he said, a strong stand your ground law. And he was going to stand up uh, for this guy. Huh. That's interesting. Because he now, with the tweets, go, uh, now, now the information being released, now we discover that, matter of fact, here's the statement. Governor Greg Abbott, uh, let's see here, let me go ahead and uh, show it to y'all. I have it on my iPad, give me one second. Uh, I just want y'all to understand uh, when the racists all stand together. Here it is, Texas has one of the strongest stand your ground laws of self-defense that cannot be nullified by, by a jury or a progressive district attorney. First of all, the jury can reject any. Let me say it again. A jury can actually reject the uh, defense. It happens in Florida cases. He says, unlike the president of some other, unlike the president or some other states, the Texas Constitution limits the governor's pardon authority to only act on a recommendation by the P board of pardons and paroles. Texas law does allow the governor to request the board of pardons and paroles to determine if a person should be granted a pardon. I've made that request and instructed the board to expedite it. Okay. That, that's, that's Greg Abbott. All right. No word from Greg Abbott or Tucker Carlson now that we know that Daniel Perry has said he was going to kill protesters. No word from any of them about Daniel Perry saying, oh, I'm a racist. No word from any of them with all the other comments that he made. Not a word. 
See, this is what happens when you jump on that bandwagon and you find out who you're defending. Now it seems like they're trying to all run for cover. But see, we haven't forgotten how hardcore they jumped on this. All right, folks, back to our Roadmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. When you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, we're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to PO Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037 0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com.